tribute song, I have to have that fucking guitar. So beautiful. Talk about a gorgeous sound. It's like listening to Jesus ejaculate into the mouth of Angel Gabriel. All right, horns up, metalheads, time for another edition of Rock and Metal Revival. I am me, he is you, and we are all together. Yes, we are. And that's right. We are back for the attack. And well, I'm not together. Hey. You're together. I'm not hey, together. I got it together today. You got it together? Yeah. Oh, Do you hear Dawkins back together? Who? Dawkins. Rockin' Wood Dockin'? Yeah, the original band's back together. Kind of the same reason you and I got back together. Donnie Dockin' for the cash? For the cash. Yeah. yeah. Well, man, you can't, can't turn it no, down, No, you can't man. turn it down, hey. no. 20 bucks, 20, 20 bucks. 20 bucks, yeah. <laughs> All right, on today's show, we want to welcome from the band Romantic Rebel, Alex Vincent. I'm telling you what, if you get a chance to see this band live, do not miss it, because the next time you're going to see him is probably on the big stage. Yeah. You Seriously, dude. I know. You told me you dig him, man. I, I, you know I'll what? Go check him out next time. All right, and uh, we got that. We got News of the Weird. And uh, we got talking real metal, and uh, we are not throwing yeah. any infants into a monkey cage today. Yeah, we have all the barriers are up. That's right. We have so all the barriers up around the hookah chi- lounge it's studio. Child safe. No, no one's going to get attacked. No That's right. Not, no one's getting shot. All right. Chill out. Chill out. <laughs> Keep it together. All right. Because that was <laughs> freaky, man. That was kind of weird. We'll talk yeah. about that in a little bit. Oh. All right. Kicking this show off, little Dio. This Just, is. Don't call him Little Dio. That's not nice. Big Dio. How about that? He's a big Dio. Uh, It's uh, Dio and I Speed at Night on Rock and Metal Revival. Ten plus years on the air and not one People's Choice Award. Rock and Metal Revival. There's Bobo Flex and Mama. Don't take my drugs away from their Anything That Moves CD. Yeah, Mama. Cool out. They're going to be in town, man. I'm looking forward to seeing them. Where? Up at the back bar. Oh, really? Yeah. When? Pretty soon? Pretty cool. soon, yeah. Cool. cool. So, you want to go? Maybe. I like Depends, Boba man. Flex, dude. That's a great band. Yeah, they do. So, uh, they're a great live I band. I haven't seen them with the new bass player, though. And they're not the headliner, so they'll play early enough I can get home and still oh, go to work. Oh, nice, nice. So, that's kind of cool. Who's headliner? So El Nino or something? or I, I never heard El of El Nino or yeah. something? Yeah, yeah never heard of it. No. I'm not going. No. So, uh, what else is new, man? How how's, How'd your Memorial Day weekend go? Very relaxing. Didn't yeah. do a whole lot. Yeah, done a lot. Grilled out. Yeah. Yeah. You were out partying. You smoked your brat? I smoked, yeah. I didn't. Yeah. Well, no, I didn't. I smoked other stuff. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah, I went out and partied a little bit. Yeah. Not a lot, but a little bit. Yeah, cool. yeah I enjoyed it. Cool. Hey, what cool. do you think about this gorilla thing, dude? I think that was messed up, and it's the parents. Watch I, your kid. How, why do you I, not, I, How do you let a kid crawl up? If I'm the zoo, away? man, I, I sue that woman. Yeah, you buy us a new gorilla. Or put on a suit and get in there. Well, I, no, I, seriously, dude. I mean, how do you let a kid climb over there and fall down in there? Yeah. That, what were that you doing? Fall. We, that fall. That fall. That fall should have killed him. That should have hurt that kid bad. You know? Yeah. And no, I, did, I, blame, I blame the parents, man. Yeah, you got to watch your kids, man. What the hell? I mean, you know, I don't... You ever seen those kid leashes? That they have, they're like, <laughs> oh, ever, yeah, yeah they're not kid, around their neck, but kids they're on yeah, a leash. Yeah. yeah, they're. But you know what I mean? I mean, I seen you wear one the other day. Nah, that was a bondage outfit. Yeah. It wasn't oh, a leash. It was that, some, was, that was some V game yeah, for you, when she was here. Yeah, if you you wore it well though. No, yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. But when I'm I'm serious, man. I mean, if I'm the zoo there, I sue those people. Yeah, I would too, man. And that was, thing, that's messed up. Man. That was an endangered silverback gorilla. Yep, it was endangered. You know, and the other thing, too, is I was talking to a couple of women I work with, and they're like, if that had been my kid, I'd have been right down in there. Yeah. Who was, she was probably, who was shooting the video? Yeah, it was probably the mother. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, dude. I got I got, I got, I got some up, yeah. issue with that. Yeah, it's not cool. It's bad situation bad all situation. the way around. There was no no good way out yeah. of it. So. Hey, coming up, uh, Guns N' Roses coming to Chicago. You're thinking about Corey wants us to go. Really? Yeah, I told Corey if you bought us tickets, we might yeah, go. Yeah, get us tickets, Corey. Yeah. I'd go that for free, yeah, but Jer- I would yeah. not pay to see you. Yeah, he, he wouldn't pay to see Guns N' Roses, but he'll give Gene Simmons $600 out of it. No, his I'm only doing huh? that so my granddaughter gets to see him. It's not Shut for me. Shut up, dude. It's not for, if it was just for me, I wouldn't Come do on. it. Come on. 
It's for the kids. Yeah. I'm just doing it for the kids. It's like taking them to the circus. You're like dude. the Jerry. It's the. You're it's like, the, like taking them to the circus. You know. You're the That's, Jerry Lewis of yeah. Kiss. I'm telling you. <laughs> All right, coming up on today's show, uh, we've got... You no, know, I'm what? just working on their retirement. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> I'm spending <laughs> so all my re- kids' re- yeah, inheritance. Re- so that kids can retire yeah. eventually. So kids, yeah, eventually, so- but Gene will never have enough money. No, he never. He will never have enough money. But uh, <laughs> coming up on today's show, we've got uh, the band Romantic Rebel. We've got their lead guitar player, Alex Vincent. Good guy. Yeah, nice guy, man. Man, he just shreds, dude. Yeah, and his sister, KT... Can really sing. Yeah. I watched the video uh, of the new song. Yeah. yeah. It was good. And I really dig it. Their new single's called Too Far. We'll play that next hour, and we'll get Alex on here. And uh had to play a little uh Cowboys from Hell there earlier. Man, I'm in a Pantera kind of mood. Pantera. I am. I'm just yeah. in a dark metal kind of mood. Really? Yeah, let's play some uh, uh-huh. Iron Maiden. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's from Jordan. From my favorite uh, Iron Maiden album, The Number of the Beast. This is Children of the Damned. And that would be Jerry and I on Rockin' Metal Revival. Damn you, children. Damn it. (laughs) Get away from that. I thought my name was Damn It for a long time. (laughs) No consultants and no corporate bullshit. Rockin' Metal Revival. There's Steel Panther from their CD, Feel the Steel, and words that Jerry lives by when he's at the strip club, and it's called Eatin' Ain't (laughs) Cheatin'. No, that's at the buffet. Oh, okay. <laughs> On your diet, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Steel Panther, man, did you hear them at uh, Rock on the Range? Uh, no, I they, didn't even. I heard it. Were they uh, good? Yeah, they yeah. were really good. I'd go see them again. Oh, yeah. They're, yeah. They are, they're entertaining. That's a talented them. band, they're too. They're entertaining as hell, yeah. All right. Well, it's time for uh, News of the Weird, and we can never seem to not find enough material here. No. It's, you know. Sometimes sometimes it's more challenging than There's others. sometimes, I know a lot of sometimes people question you, Jerry and my morality. If you just lived in Florida, we, yeah, we'd, we could just grab the newspaper. All, yeah, any yeah. newspaper, and we'd have all the weird news. I heard somebody say the other day, and they go, hey, I listened to your show, and that News of the Weird, that was gross. And I'm like... <laughs> All right. Hey, Thank we, you. We didn't do it. Yeah, we didn't do it. We just talked about it. What the hell? All right. Man who got head stuck in washing machine had worse day than you. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. He probably <laughs> wants to wash his hands of this experience. Firemen in China were called to an apartment Sunday afternoon after an unidentified man got his head stuck in a washing machine. All right. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking the big, big... No, it's like the size of a freaking little... Like a microwave? Yeah, yeah, but tall tall and skinny. Okay. For an apartment, you know what apartment size is probably there. It's, it's about probably, this big. Yeah. It's, it's this a hookah lounge is, studio. the whole apartment. Yeah, this yeah. is like a penthouse. Yeah, yeah. so it's really small. Yeah. The man was attempting to repair his machine drum and stuck his head inside for a better view. <laughs> well, that was a mistake. <laughs> He got one. Yeah, some people, uh, for some reason, he was unable to get his head out, according to uh, social media of the Fujian Fire Department. Said when the man's friends found him uh, lying on the floor, they tried to free him by using soap to lubricate his skull. And when that didn't work, they called the rescue crew. Six firemen spent 40 minutes sawing through the machine before the victim was freed. First the man <laughs> only suffered minor cuts to his head. The man reportedly didn't understand what had happened. First thing they did, take pictures of that fucking guy laying on the ground. Oh, yeah, you got it. His head stuck in the Dude, you know how Man. that is. You know, like, if something happens, I'll always be there to help you up, but I'm going to take a picture and laugh first, at you yeah, first. Yeah, yeah, I'm documenting yeah. this shit first. Uh, oh, oh, hey, man. Stone Man calls cops after mistaking dog bite for gunshot wound. Oh, man, how do you do that? He believed he'd been shot and subsequently called the police. Truth uh, proved to be stranger than fiction when police in Texas were called to a reported shooting Thursday. Uh, the alleged victim told the first cop to, who arrived at the scene... Uh, at his mobile home outside Grosbeck, 40 miles east of Waco, uh, that he had been shot in the left buttocks <laughs> while sitting on the porch. I was shot in the buttocks. But Did you get lots of ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> but after the uh, brief investigation, the Grosbeck Police Department officer realized that he hadn't really been shot. Instead, it emerged that the man had been smoking the marijuana on his porch when a thunderstorm passed over. <laughs> It spooked his dog, and he nailed him in the ass. (laughs) 
He'd believed he'd been shot and subsequently called the police. The police department chief, Chris Henson, said, which uh, he said he had hoped to would quell the rumor concerning the reported shooting. Man. How? Oh. Damn dog. Yeah. Jeez. Man, that must have he must have been smoking some of that Agent Orange shit. Man. Yeah. That stuff will knock you on That's how what you got? Yeah, that's what I'm Okay. <laughs> that's All what right. I'm pay partaking in. Seventy seven year old congressional candidate busted with one hundred and eighty pot plants. That's it? I'm 180. Can we vote for I him? I want to vote for them. There, I got my vote. Yeah, I. He says I smoke marijuana. The candidate admitted, uh, though she denied having anything to do with the grow operation. A 77-year-old congressional candidate accused of growing up to 180 pot plants doesn't think her political ambitions have gone up in smoke. No. On May 20th, police in Crossville, Tennessee, Tennessee, oh, Tennessee raided the home of Flo Matheson, who is running for the Democratic primary in the 6th District congressional seat. Dang, a Democrat. Uh, yeah, de- right. uh, detectives well, said uh, they became yeah. aware of the indoor grow operation at Matheson's property and obtained a search warrant, according to the department press. Matheson told WATE-TV that authorities raided her home and her barn on her land. They found more than 180 plants and grow equipment, according to Steve Harrington, who lives on Matheson's property and admitted to growing the pot. Nah, so it wasn't her. She wasn't growing it. She was just smoking it. I would, too. What the hell? She says, I smoke marijuana. I'm guilty. I did it. Yeah. Can we get a yard sign from her? Yeah, I really Put up here at the Hookah Lounge Studio. Seriously want to vote for her. Anybody in Tennessee that can get us one of those, uh, shoot us an email, rockandmentalrevival at gmail.com. Yeah, we need one of those. We need one of those. Yeah. Instead of the Trump one you got out here. (laughs) All right. And then last but not least, family uses winking face emoji to announce grandmother's... What? Grandmother's death. That's just wrong. It's uh, exactly what 75-year-old Carmen Bustamante Barago wanted. A winking face emoji announces the death of the beloved grandmother in a Spanish newspaper on Saturday. She told her children that when she died, she wanted to be remembered... In El Periodico, uh, in her favorite symbol, nationally daily newspaper <laughs> reported, the after she day. died at her home at the age of 75 on Friday, her offspring immediately put her plan into action. So on Saturday, the announcement of her death was published on page 38 of the newspaper and website and completely with the cheeky graphic, which is more commonly associated with electronic messages and website. According to her son, she finished her journey in this world in his now home. <laughs> nice. Good Isn't for that, her, man. Man. Good for her. I guess, man. That's just kind of weird. The emoji. LOL. Uh, you know? The smiley face. Uh, yeah, WTF. Okay. Yeah. I so, don't know about that. That's that, kind of yeah, weird. That That's wind, weird. <laughs> that winds up uh, news of the weird. Coming up, we've got uh, Talking Real Metal. And then next hour, we'll talk to Alex Vincent of Romantic Rebel. But right now, here's little Tesla doing Led Zeppelin. This is called The Ocean on Rock and Metal Revival. Dude, dude, let's do the Tesla, the Zeppelin doing Tesla. Uh, I don't have any of that. You don't have that? Oh, no. man. Robert Plant wouldn't agree to it. Oh, I thought we had that. No? Mm-mm. Here's your latest hard rock and metal news on Rock and Metal Revival. All right, metalheads, time to grab the kids, gather around the speakers. It's time for a little family time. Yeah, this yeah. Is could be your family time yeah. every week. Yep. Just it's time curl for... Curl up by the fireplace like the yeah. fireside talks and exactly. stuff. Exactly. Talking yeah. real metal. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's kick it off. ACDC with Axl Rose has rescheduled their U.S. tour dates, and they have been announced. They're on the website. Yeah, it's like it starts a week after Guns N' Roses it's are just, done with yeah. theirs. So. Man, so his voice should be shot by then. Yeah. Ex-Kiss guitarist know. Bruce Kulick performs national anthem during L.A. Kiss game. That's probably the... Huh. Man, that probably rocked. That's kind of cool. I like yeah. Bruce. Motley Crue's Tommy Lee. At some point, the band just stopped making new music. Yeah, it was right after Shout at the Devil. <laughs> No, it wasn't. It was after the Black, the Motley Crue album. That oh, was the first one. one, Too Fast for Love? Okay. No, no. The oh, the one with Karabi. Karabi that yeah, one the, they, the they, one that Nikki doesn't like anymore. Yeah, because Karabi wrote a bunch of those fucking melodies, yeah. and he didn't. Yeah. But he's taken all the credit. Because he's a douche. <laughs> all right. Uh, uh, Encyclopedia of Kiss. Music, personal, 
events and related subjects is now available. Did you get one of those with your tickets? The Kiss Encyclopedia? Yeah. No, no, not yet. All right. But I heard it's a bunch of different volumes. Nice. Yeah. Idiots. Nice. Sebastian Bach gets into Twitter war of words with William Shatner. <laughs> yeah. Live long and prosper, boys. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Alex, Alice Cooper, oh, guitarist Nita Strauss, I am banned from looking at comments on blabbermouth.net. Yeah, because there's a bunch of douchebags. Self, self righteous yeah, I, You know what I always love, dude? Think they're, think they're so smart. When I, Whenever you get on one them. of those talk rooms and yeah. somebody, you know, just thinks they're the next greatest guitar player, but. Yeah, Evan yeah, hasn't recorded the thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd like to uh, easy to tear somebody down, but you can't. Yeah, do. If you exactly. Can't, if you can't shred better than her, you better shut, shut the hell up. up. Yeah, uh, Frankie Benali couldn't be happier with Jizzy Pearl fronting uh, Quiet Riot. Jizzy Pearl's got a great voice. I like Jizzy when he was with Rat. He yeah. could sing, man. Yeah, and they're actually touring with. They are doing a couple shows around here with Rat. Yeah, Rat and uh, what's it called? Uh, Quiet Riot. Nice. When because. Yeah, yeah. You're going to see it? No. Is no. it a Bobby Blotter rat or is it I the one? Yeah, it's a Bobby Blotter oh, I ain't going rat. to see that. Fuck him. Yeah, so uh, it's the drummers yeah. from two different yeah. bands. And um, nobody else. Nobody but else from the band. A bunch yeah. of kids. Um, X Great White. No, oh, no. Uh, hell yes, Tom Maxwell, who we've had on this show. Yeah. Nice on guy. why new rock bands aren't selling a lot of records because people don't want to buy dog shit. <laughs> oh, man. Great quote. I love it. Yeah, you better. Ex great white singer Jack Russell on his upcoming book. There might be a couple of lawsuits out of it. Uh-oh. Nice. I might Uh-oh. have to get that one. I guess. Or- Judas Priest Rob Halford to perform with Baby Metal at Alternative Press Music Awards. You're a big Baby Metal fan. Yeah, big I see time. That big tattoo. You got you the got. tattoo on the yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, that's badass, yeah. man. Lars Ulrich, new Metallica album. I will like be when done you get him to dance. Yeah, you like that. Yeah, that's when I jump up and down. Metallica's right. going to have a new album out by the summer. Really? Sebastian Bach and possible Skid Row reunion. I'm up for it if they are. It's Rachel. Yeah, Rachel's Rachel the only one holding that on. Do with you. He doesn't like money. All right, Testament, <laughs> Death eventually, Angel. Eventually. They keep getting these new singers in yeah. there. They're going to run out of money because yeah. they ain't going to be getting a, even a club date. No. Eventually, they're just no. wearing their reputation down that way. Testament, Death Angel, X Guns and Roses member to play Deep Purple's entire Made in Japan album. Hmm. That might be interesting. All right. Anthrax says Rock is not dead. Thank yeah, you. Thank you for thanks. the update. And I was wondering. Yeah. I was going to ask, is Rock dead? No, I don't think no. so. No, Anthrax says no, no so Anthrax no. says no, it's so not. it's not. And the Red Hot Chili Peppers frontman Anthony Kiedis denies relapsing into drug use. Oh, well, I, what's he going to say? Hell yeah, I'm doing, I'm yeah, doing yeah. way more. Hell, I'm doing way more than I did before. Well, now <laughs> I can sleep at night. Yeah. All right, really? so... <laughs> So that winds up uh, Talking Real Metal. Next hour, we will talk with Alex Vincent from we'll, uh, Romantic Rebel. What? And we'll have a quiz. Yeah, we'll have on, a quiz on, on this. this. What yeah. You, yeah. yeah. So why don't we play some uh, Great White since Jack Russell's going to leak all the stories. Ah, we could. All right, this is Face the Day on Rockin' Metal Revival. This portion of Rockin' Metal Revival is brought to you by... So that girl she said was her sister... Isn't. And that's who you... Yeah. Jesus, you slept with Morning's daughter? Hey, hey, don't look at me. She slept with her brother. This is true. Excuse me, as I recall, you had the woman herself. Also true. Man, we are just plowing through that family. There's brand new Scorpion Child. It's called... What's that called? Reaper's... Reaper's Dance. You like that? Yeah. It's from yeah. Acid Roulette, their new CD. Dude, Acid Roulette, that's really cool, man. Dude, that's I fun. love... Have you ever tried that? No. Weed Roulette's pretty Reed good, Reed Roulette, too. I've played yeah, that. Yeah. But uh, I'd like to see them, man. Yeah. Scorpion Child. I think it would be a great tour. We get Scorpion Child, Monster Truck, Crowbot. Yeah. What do you think? That'd be a good show. That'd be a great show. Man, one of those revolver things. Yeah. I have saw... Nah, fuck it. Go ahead. What's that? Go ahead. What are you no, this... About? I was thinking of the roulette. This re- dude had this bong with a re- six shooter, and it was kind of like roulette because he put in different shit in each one, and it was like six. Did you, you actually go, see this? Or yeah, is this something you I did it. That's what we used to play. Oh, okay. Weed roulette, man. You all put right. all kinds of different weed in it. This is like a six shooter. You just hit one and then turn it and hit another one. Hear that, kids? Yeah. We are not endorsing drug use. No, I all wouldn't. Right. I would never no. recommend doing no. that. But, uh, hey, coming but, up... Uh, but I would do it. <laughs> <laughs> coming up, uh, over the last couple of weeks, got to see the band Romantic Rebel. And uh, they, dude, they are so good live. And, and we had the... I talked to Alex after the show, and he's like, man, I'd love to be on RMR. So, coming up, he's going to yeah. be on here, and we've got their new single right here. Yeah. It's called 
Too Far. Here's Romantic Rebel on Rock and Metal Revival. There's brand new music from Romantic Rebel. It's called Too Far on Rock and Metal Revival. And, dude, I've really been digging this band. I love this song. I know. You told me they did, they put on a great show. They put on a great show. I've seen them a couple times here in Wisconsin in the last couple of weeks. And I want to welcome to the show lead guitarist Alex Vincent. Welcome to the show, Alex. Hey, what's going on? Thanks for having me. Hey, Alex, I, I just want to say, like I said earlier, uh, I, my first uh, experience with Romantic Rebel was this past uh, couple weekends, and holy shit, bro, you guys <laughs> killed it. Thank you very much. I mean, uh, how long you guys been doing this? I mean, how, what, tell us a little bit of the history of the band. Well, it's going to be about four years now, um, and I believe September, uh, this September, I think it'll be four years since the band formed. And, um, yeah, it just kind of started with my sister and I just playing cover songs in our basement. And, uh, you know, eventually we kind of wanted more than that. We wanted more than just playing, you know, the songs of bands we looked up to. So we decided to write a couple songs. Um, and we just started booking some shows and just playing locally. And, uh, and I don't know, it just, you know, it was kind of a blur from there. We just kind of started just, we worked our asses off. I mean, you know, we are we just content, continued to work hard and never uh, never settled for anything less than the best we could deliver. So, you know, now we're we're continuing to do that now, and I think things are going really well. Well, you know, Alex, now you and your uh, sister Paige, now do you guys write all the uh, material for, for Romantic Rebel, or, or, or is it a whole band project? Yeah, Katie and I have really written everything from day one, uh, we, we, you know, with these new these new songs too that are going to be coming out, we we pretty much written everything uh, up until you know just a couple months back when we kind of went in the studio with uh, Johnny K, who we're working with, who's produced bands like Disturbed and Machine Head and Megadeth bands. I love you know, so that was mm-hmm. cool. And um, and we actually uh, started writing with him, and I think it really opened our eyes to see that we could bring out more in our songs than we necess- like than we thought we had already or we could bring out more life in them that uh was kind of hidden to us so he he helped us see that our songs could be even even better i think and uh and we've never been happier with the material so yeah so it's uh it's a cool process so has the band been the same members the whole time or is it just we had a few changes yeah. but um who's the guys in the band month, now uh, oh we got uh Zach Smith on bass, and then we got Ty Del Rose on drums, and then obviously you got me on guitar, and then Katie on vocals, and um, and yeah, man, everyone's happy, everyone's having a great time, we just can't wait to keep doing it. Now, you guys are out on the road right now, you just played Bratfest in Madison in front of a yeah. big crowd, uh, do you find, I know, I know you guys are Midwestern people, but do you find like, uh, have, you, have you ventured out of the Midwest? Uh, and play oh, yeah. some shows, and, and do you find the Midwest the best place to play? I mean, because this blue-collar crowd around here just goes crazy over rock and roll. Yeah, it's pretty cool, man. Um, yeah, we've actually toured nationally four times, I believe. We're going to be doing our fifth national tour coming up nice. in July here with Smile Empty Soul. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, we love playing the Midwest because, as you said, everyone seems to just love it. They seem to love rock and love metal, and it's a really cool scene. Um, but we've also found there are just countless markets around the country where people are just the same. I mean, they go just as crazy, you know, West Virginia, North Dakota, Colorado. Um, I could keep going. I mean, it's just a crazy list of, of metalheads and rockers all over the place. It's awesome. That's cool. That is cool. You know, we, we talked a couple of weeks ago to Ben Wells from Blackstone Cherry, and we asked him, uh, you guys go to England and you play Wembley. And you come mm-hmm. back to the States and you're playing a club. Now, have you guys ventured over across the pond yet to see what that's like? Because I think you guys would be huge there. We Yeah, we have not currently. Um, we're talking about it. Uh, not in the near future, but we're seeing when it'll happen. But, um, yeah, we, we've been told we should definitely uh, take a trip over there because I heard... Um, I heard everyone's like 10 times as crazy out there as they are out here. So we're, you know, we'd love to make that happen. So now your sister's in the band, right? She is. She's- so do you guys, is there the sibling squabbles and stuff? Who wins? Who wins the arguments? 
Everyone, everyone asks that. Um, <laughs> uh, no, you know, actually, there's there are never any problems. We're, we're the best of friends. We've been friends since we were little, and you know, as um, yeah, there's never any problems. We're, we're, you know, people don't believe us when we say we never fight, but we we just don't. We're just yeah. very uh, we're very chill people, and uh, you know, we we just don't we don't have time for for fighting. So ah, cool, very cool. That's good. Well, yeah. uh, Alex, tell us a little bit about this uh, upcoming release that you guys got. Uh, do you guys got a date for it yet? A name for it? Uh, what, what's the What's the update on the project? Okay, so basically, we're just getting the packaging done. We're just getting the mastering all finished up. Um, it should be out probably before. I don't know if this will be the official release date, but we'll we should we'll have copies for our tour anyway in July. But um, we're thinking just the summer release. We're not sure of an exact date yet. Um, but yeah, the uh, it's an EP. It's five song EP, uh, which has you know includes Too Far and four others. Um, it's called Begin Again, and we named it that because it's kind of it has a lot of meaning to us, and we've kind of went through so many trial and error periods and uh i think we've you know we, we've kind of reinvented ourselves and reinvented our sound and i think this is really the but you know the time is now i mean that's it you know okay cool well uh now what do you what do you feel is has changed from the first album to this new ep i mean is it is it a total new new feel for the band i mean because the other night live in concert man you guys just I mean, every song just clicked one after another, and I mean, it just—you could just tell you could, that the band is really tight and the music's really tight. Well, thank you. Um, yeah, I mean, I think we're getting—I don't want to say we're getting heavier because I don't think it's necessarily heavy, but I think we—I think we're pulling more from real life experiences, which might make the music a little more heavy. Maybe not musically but lyrically i think it's a little heavier um and i don't know i mean i think we just we're always trying to find our sound i think we finally have found it but you know it took a couple tries i mean we you know we had an ep that we put out when the band formed with a couple songs on it and that was like a kind of a throwback rock sound we didn't really dig that and then we put out this last album which was our first ever like debut full length and that was more just a straightforward rock album, which we liked. But now with this new sound, I just think we've we've got something that I've I haven't necessarily heard before that I can't compare to anything on the radio. And I think I just think we got something really special. So I think uh, I think everyone will like it, and I sure hope they do. And I know we do. So sweet. So I'm looking forward to hearing that. Um, but my main question about it is: Are there going to be any songs featuring the cowbell? <laughs> um, no, we've got a song featuring some shakers and uh, a vibra slap, but we don't have a cowbell. Man, oh. Gotta get the cowbell, man. You just Midwest gotta have it. Right, right, number I one. Know. Come on, man. You're from the Midwest. Come on, you gotta know this. There's gotta be cowbell, man. <laughs> you need more cowbell. <laughs> hey, uh, Alex, if people want to keep up to date with what's going on with Romantic Rebel, where's the best place to get the information? Definitely our Facebook page, facebook.com slash Romantic Rebel Rocks. Um, our website, romanticrebelband.com. Any social media page, Instagram, Twitter, we're all over it. Follow us on our personals. We're always posting. Um, yeah, I mean, Facebook's the best way, though, is we reply to everyone and we make sure, to, you know, we make it a point to reply to all of our fans and to, uh, you know, to, to really connect with them on that level. We think it's very important because a lot of bands don't do that, so... Exactly. Yeah. Very cool. Well, we gave you the opportunity to pick a song off the last album, and you picked "Disappear." You want to tell us why you picked that one? I love that song. I think it's really. I think it's just a cool song. It's, it's kind of got an old Guns N' Roses feel to it, and um, and we still play it. It's still in the set now, and I think it's just one of those songs that uh, the lyrics are pretty meaningful to me. So yeah, let's uh, let's roll it, man. All right, Sweet. Alex Vincent, you are always welcome back on Rock and Metal Revival. Thank you very much for having me. There's Guns N' Roses, and I used to love her, but I had to kill her on mm. Rock and Metal That's, Revival. Well, I mean, Dude, one of my favorite Guns N' Roses tunes. I always liked that one. Yeah? 
It's it's such a happy song. It is. You know, a great he's Valentine's it's really song. cheery. You know, yeah, you could tell he's happy. I like that line. She bitched so much, she drove me nuts. And that could and never every, happen. Every guy in the world knows no, that, that line. That could never happen. Yeah, bullshit. <laughs> All right, so we want to say uh, thanks to Alex Vincent uh, from Romantic Rebel. Uh, yeah, very nice guy. Yeah, dude. very cool guy. Go check them out. Buy their tunes on iTunes or their website. Uh, support live music. If they're in your town, yeah. go see them. Yeah. All right? Sounds like a good deal. Sounds like a good idea, don't it? Yeah. All right, coming up uh, next week, I don't know who our guest is next week. It's a mystery guest. Yeah, it could be Steve Reamer. You never hey, know. Yeah, we could call, call yeah. and see him, see how he's doing. See how he's doing. But uh, yeah. you never know who we're going to have on the show. But uh, we'll uh, we'll be back next week. And oh, uh, man, hey, really? I'm going to threaten people. That's why, how I feel. Yeah. Yeah. So um, we're going to get out of eye here. Remember, uh, we we talk about weed and stuff. Yeah, but, but don't 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 do. be don't be stupid. Don't okay, be stupid. so don't drink and drive. Yeah, just smoke and fly. Peace. This brings to an end another edition of Rock and Metal Revival. If you enjoyed it, tell a friend. If you didn't, tell two. Until next time, this is Rock and Metal Revival. Dude, this is fucking weak. How could things be any worse? To catch the whole show of Rock and Metal Revival, all you have to do is check it out on these affiliates. Mega Rock Radio is on Saturdays from 11 a.m. Eastern Time and on Uncontrolled Noise Tuesdays at 1 a.m., Thursdays at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, and on Saturday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern on UncontrolledNoise.com. And make sure that you leave them a message and tell them that you found Rock and Metal Revival on their stations. Enjoy this edition of Rock and Metal Revival.